All right, I'm joined by Pat Paris because we are going in the ring. <laughs> That's where we talk about local sports topics. And we're going to start tonight with a much blind Arizona defense. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready, more ready than the defense is. So let's put that. <laughs> All right, so they gave up 600 yards in that loss to Hawaii, 40 points to the in the win over NAU. Social media pointing the finger at defensive coordinator Marcel Yates. Pat, I'm going to show two defensive players today coming to Yates' defense, and then we're going to come back and discuss. Coach Yates is a great defensive coordinator. He calls great plays all the time, and it's just all execution. We just have different guys in different gaps or um, coverage, uh, field coverage, bursty coverages, and that's just what we have to work on as players to help out Coach Yates when he's making those great calls. I tend to keep my face or uh, ears out of that. I don't really pay attention to all that. I just know that we're confident in Coach Yates. We trust him, so we're going to perform for him. So. That was Lorenzo Burns. Pat, how concerned are you about the Arizona defense? Oh, I'm extremely concerned, Jason. For the past couple of seasons, Marcel Yates, of course, has had one of the youngest defenses in the Pac-12, and they've struggled. This season, more experienced players, added depth as well, and it's been the same sort of struggle. 600 yards, 45 points to Hawaii, 41 points to NAU. Wildcats have to improve on defense. Marcel Yates' time would be short if they do not. And you're talking about the trajectory of this defense, the core are juniors, you know, they're freshmen a couple years ago, so they should have improved. And how about this, Pat? The Wildcats lead the nation in penalty yardage. A lot of that dumb plays on defense yes. are a big part. They host Texas Tech Saturday night. I want to shift right now and talk about our lucky wishbone yeah. football Friday night. That's where viewers can vote for the game of the week. It's at the top of my Jason Bar K Gun Facebook page. Jason, why don't you explain everybody uh, to everybody how you you come to those three games, how you pick them. Okay, well, here are the three games. We got Choy at Pueblo. The Warriors are dedicating their stadium to Curly Santa Cruz. A uh, push Rouge at CDO. I picked that because the Dorados are 3 0. And Rio Rico at Nogales. The Apaches going all out this year with a first <laughs> annual tailgate party at a local restaurant and a bunch of other festivities as well. And judging by the vote total so far, you may be heading down I 19 on Friday night to go to Nogales, which is not a bad thing. I would, I, I'm kind of envious. It'd be fun to go to one of those games. I'm looking saying. forward to it, but if anybody has a private plane to get me down there quick, <laughs> let me know. Pat Paris, thank you for joining me in the ring. All right, Jason, we'll be back with more One Leslie Year forecast after this.